Well, 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 welcome back to another video, guys. I am so excited today because I have my 3D printer that's been sitting on the shelf and I finally got to use it. So this video is gonna be pretty quick. I'm gonna show you guys what I made and its use. So this is for the Rhino Max V2. It's a battery tray right here. You can see it here. You can see the underside, it's all kind of, eh, it's ugly and whatnot, but look at that. <laughs> look how smooth it is, guys. Okay, so I got that for my Rhino Max, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disassemble where it's currently, you know, got its little not-so-good-looking parts. Uh, red carbon looks good. It's, it's not ugly. It's just that I'm being picky about it, but I'm going to remove those things, and then I'll be right back to show you guys where this battery tray goes and what its function is. So here is my Rhino Max. Here it is in the MR setup. And it's also got a battery tray in the middle. All of this was rigged up by me using various parts. As you can see, look at this. That is insane. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but I got it to work. So now I'm going to take all of that off and we're going to just clean it up. So pretty much the box should sit right there. As I remove these pieces, most of the stuff can stay exactly where it's at as far as wiring is concerned. And then I'll just, I, I know I'll have to move the fan, but other than that, everything else should, should, should go fine. Let's do this. So we have the majority of the stuff out of the way. What I think I'm going to do now is just test the flex really fast because I'm going to be taking out that center part. It's a Rhino Max. I don't think it has any flex whatsoever. But before I remove this center brace, I just want to make sure of that so that when I do put it in there and I start driving it, I'm not going to be like, what in the world just happened? Why is my car not driving right? So now I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And there we have it. It's in. That looks so good. And when you think about it, just put your battery in there. Done. If you're going over anything that uh, <laughs> your battery's going to jump out of here, probably not. It's probably not what you should be doing. But nonetheless, there it is. I'm going to do some more tinkering with this off camera so I can get the final fitment right, and then I'll be back to show you guys. 